Hi, I'm Paul Wilson. I'm the creator of Swing Machine Golf and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this tip, I want to continue talking about the release in the downswing. Now, the other day I talked about the club making its way to the top of the backswing and you have fully hinged the club in your wrists. Now, we're going to be firing our lower body, which will maintain that angle down towards impact. Now, once the golf club gets in around here, you can still see that I've got the majority of that angle. Now, at this moment, the golf club's going to release. Now, it's not going to release just to impact. It's actually going to release past impact to a position where both arms are perfectly straight after the ball is hit. And it's about two feet after contact with irons and about three feet after contact with woods. And that's because you're going to be driving your lower body even harder with woods, which will cause your upper body to tilt back even more, which moves this point where the arms are stretched out to a point further past the ball. So at that point, what I want you to be aware of today is that your shoulders are actually open when you reach that point. So I don't want you working on your golf swing like this, trying to keep your shoulders nice and square to the target line and trying to hit this spot. Okay, at that moment in time, our shoulders are actually going to be open. So if you look at my shoulder line here, we're actually in an open position. If we look at it from the, the uh, side view here, you can see that if I'm coming in like this and I hit the ball and then go beyond the ball right here, my shoulders are gonna be in an open position. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit one for you. We're gonna show it to you from an above view and then you can get a clearer picture of exactly what my shoulders are doing as I'm hitting impact and then to this position where the club is fully released. Okay, so let's take a look at that now. Okay, so there you can see that my shoulders are actually open as I'm hitting the ball and through to the release point after the ball is hit. So basically today I just wanted to clarify that the shoulders are in that position so that you're not sitting there working on, on this position of stretching your arms out but trying to keep your shoulders square. So I've seen people actually working on trying to keep nice and square shoulders when they're hitting the golf ball but if you saw the video right there from above, you can see that my shoulders are actually open when I'm hitting the ball and then after I've hit the ball. Okay, so make sure that when you're doing your practice swings, you're going to take the golf club to the top, feel the club is hinged at the top. We're gonna work the club down by using our body. Okay, you can see I'm just turning my body. I'm not, I'm not moving the club or, or um, casting the club in any way. I've set the hinge angle, I'm turning the body, and then I'm allowing the arms to kind of fall down. From here, my wrists are loose, so they're going to release past impact. Okay, so make sure you're doing lots of practice swings like that, and then when you hit that spot, a couple feet after impact, just check that the shoulders are in an open position, then you'll be doing it properly. Make sure you ask your questions, post your comments below. I'll try to get to as many as I can.